The goal of this presentation is to reduce gearbox failures or premature wear due to lubrication issues. The standard for many gearboxes is to ship the unit without lubrication. This is commonly done to reduce shipping weight and to allow for commonality of lubrication within a given facility. That means that oil must be added to a gearbox prior to usage. It is best practice to review the gearbox manual and confirm that the unit has the proper amount of lubricant inside before running it. A common failure mode for gearboxes is that they have been operated dry. Whether through unawareness or carelessness, gearboxes are installed and the process started with no lube in the gearbox. Once a unit has been run dry, even for a short period of time, it's damaged and it will need to have new gears installed. Adding oil afterward will not cure a damaged gearbox. To determine how much oil belongs in a given gearbox, refer to the manual or the catalog. Either can be downloaded at www.bostongear.com and click on the literature tab. In the manual is a chart that shows how much lubricant should be used for a given size gearbox and a given mounting. Mounting position defines the relationship of the input to the output shaft. Having a unit mounted as shown here has the input shaft and the worm over the output shaft and the bronze gear. This is called mounting position one and it's the most common mounting. In a worm gear speed reducer, the amount of oil in the unit should ensure that the gear set and the output shaft bearing are being lubricated at all times. Proper amount of lubrication would mean that the oil would come to about this level. In addition to providing lube to the gear and the worm, this also provides lubrication to the output bearing. The issue becomes when this gearbox is mounted in some other position. Let's see what happens if we mount the unit base up or what would be called worm under. As you can see, the worm is now under the gear. The amount of lubrication would only reach as high as the worm and perhaps some of the bronze gear, but the output shaft bearing would not be lubricated. When we mount a unit with worm under, we need more lubrication. If we look at a size 724 in the chart, we can see we need 50% more oil. In position one, the unit needs 18 ounces of lube. In position three, it needs 28 and a half. You can see in the chart, the same relationship is true for all the other sizes. Any standard right angle worm gearbox can be mounted as either worm over or worm under. It is up to the installer to make sure that the lubricant level is correct for the mounting position being used. A second common error is to use lubrication with sulfur or chlorine as part of the chemical makeup of the lubricant. These are often lubes with extra pressure additives or EP additives. These chemicals will soften the bronze in the worm gear and lead to very premature failure. You can see here a gear that was run in EP additive lubricant and the resulting wear on the gear teeth. Having the proper amount of the proper lubrication for a gearbox will ensure that the unit achieves maximum life in the application.